first thing that we're going to do um, to set up our 22 by 24 artwork is go to our Adobe Illustrator. Boom. Let's go ahead and click it. Get straight into it. We have been having a lot of people come to us and ask us, how can I get my setup fee waived? So that's why I decided to make this video today. First thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead to go to new file. Just follow my cursor here. And right here, um, our width needs to be 22, height needs to be 24, so 22 by 24. Go ahead and make sure that this is at inches. Sometimes it will default to pixels, so always wanna make sure that is inches. Um, orientation, it can be portrait, landscape, either way. I like um, portrait mode. Um, our color needs to be RGB color and our High needs to be 300 PPI. Everything else can stay the same. So go ahead and take a look at that. 22 by 24 RGB. These are just other, um, yeah, we don't want that one. So let's go ahead and create. All righty. So this is our 22 by 24. First thing that we're going to want to do is let's go ahead and head over to view and we're gonna hit rulers and show rulers. I like to see my numbers up here, 22 by 24. Again, if you do that and these aren't in inches, you're gonna right click and just hit inches. It might be in pixels, right click, hit inches. So here's our 22 by 24. First thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is place our image our logos, our picture, anything that you're gonna be printing, we're gonna go ahead and place that. So let's go ahead and go to File. We're gonna to go to Place. We're gonna find our image. This is where I find my image. Mine is on my desktop, so here we go, FCD Green. This is gonna be attached to our cursor, just click anywhere, boom, there we go. First thing that I want to start with, like I said, this is this very simple step-by-step -step video. So I want to make it as easy and as simple as possible. So I'm going to break down everything that I do to set up you guys' artwork. So first thing I, I notice, if you see here, these this space, the hold on. If you see here the box around my image. First thing that you want to do is crop it. We want to crop it to get it as close to the image as possible so your dimensions are exact. If you use this box that it's around, your dimensions are going to be based off of the box around it. It's not going to be based off of the tip of this to the tip of that, which is what we want. So we're going to go ahead and go here to the right and we're going to hit crop image. Hit OK. And let's go ahead and get it as close as possible so our dimensions can be perfect. Pretty perfect. Make sure we didn't cut that off. Here, here. Okay, then we're gonna hit apply. So whenever we do um, like a seven by seven, it's gonna go base off of seven here, seven here, seven here, seven here. It's not gonna go base off of the box that it's around that may be an inch away from your logo or whatever the case may be. So be sure to always crop it as close as possible so your dimensions are correct. Second, we're gonna go ahead and pick our dimensions. First thing is we're gonna explain what this little uh, icon is for, which is very important. Uh, it's to maintain the width and height proportions. So if you unclick it, it will allow you to change the dimensions of your image and it will have it unproportioned, distorted types of things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick uh, what I'm talking about to kind of give you an example. So we're gonna have it locked. So let's say we want our image 11 by 11. So we're gonna do 11. So this is locked. So it's gonna proportion your logo for you. So let's say we want 11 inches. Okay, so it did 11 inches wide, which is what we wanted, and the height is proportioned at 
0.0553, which means it doesn't distort your logo. Some logos can be distorted and it looks fine. Some logos cannot. Mine is a circle. We cannot distort this logo. So I need my uh, proportion link icon to look just like that. So let me show you when it is unclicked, when it is off. So that means you can put your dimensions at anything you want. So we did 11. So let's do 11 by 11. Do you see how it distorts it a little bit? So now it allows you to move it any way you want to move it. So if I want to do um, 10 by 4, I can do 10 by 4. Your logo will be very uh, distorted, but if you want to do it, you can do it. Here we go. So let's turn our lock back on. So 10 by 11. Oops. Oh, 11. So 10, it proportions it at four. Okay, so now I actually need to put another one in here. Dang it. Hold on, let me place this real quick. Okay, I'm just gonna add another one because that one was severely distorted. Okay, so here we are with our second one with our right dimensions and it is locked. This one is far from being what we need it to be. If you do distort it at its most, you can always use the dimensions for this to kind of do that one. See, it will do whatever we want to do. If we move this one, Okay, so now that we saw what the um, link and unlink will do, now we can move forward. So now we, like I said, we want this at 11 by 11. Perfect. And now I need to make at least another copy of this. So I'm going to show you guys how to copy and paste. There's about three different ways to copy and paste without having to go replace, recrop, and do all that. So first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna sell, we're gonna click the image, press Alt on your keyboard, which is ALT by the um, space bar. We're gonna press that, hold that down, and we're gonna drag and then let go of your mouse. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Alt, click, hold Alt down and drag. Or you can go here, you can select your image. We're gonna go to um, edit. We're gonna go to copy. We're gonna click here. We're gonna, uh, uh, sorry. We're gonna click here and then we're gonna go back to edit and we're gonna hit paste. So simple copy and paste, simple copy and paste, great. There's another way we can do it. We're going to hit control C, okay? And then we're gonna hit Control V. Copy and paste. So there we go. If you need to copy and paste your images, those are three ways to copy and paste your image. All right, if you have any questions about that, please comment down below and then I can, uh, or you can email me at fcdvinylandapparel.com and then we can walk you through that as well. So just wanted to let you guys know, these are just a few things that I have to do to get your artworks perfect. So it does take a little time and it is a little tedious, um, but that's why we charge the $25 setup fee because it does take time to set you uh, your guys' logo on there. Oh, one more thing I did want to show you on the copy and paste as well. So I just deleted those. So if you have two images here and you want to make two more images, you can just highlight and then you can repeat the process. So we can do highlight, uh, edit, copy, edit, paste, and it'll do two of them for you since you highlighted them. Same thing with um, the alt, highlight, click, hold down alt, drag. Perfect. Same thing with um, 
copy, I mean select both, control C, control V. Perfect. So those are just ways you can do. If you have multiple, 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 you select them all and it will copy and paste. If you select 10, it will copy and paste 10. So that's amazing. Those are just uh, quick things I wanted to show you guys just to help it um, make it a little bit easier when you're setting up your project. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. So we have four on here. So when I am setting up your project and you say, hey, I need four 11 by 12s, great. But you see um, there's a space here. I can probably squeeze a little one in here. I like to maximize your space on your 22 by 24 artwork. And I would like for you to do that as well. If you don't need, you're like, but I don't need it. You can always, so we're gonna copy and paste that. And then I just change the dimension. So let's do four by four. Let's see if a four by four fits in here. Oops, let me move this. So we can fit that on there and just make, just maximize your space. Four by four would be great for a front of a shirt. That's too big, that's too big to fit there. So I think this would be, oops. I think this would be, what the heck? I think this would be great to fit right here to maximize your space. All right, moving on to our next step. Make Always make sure that nothing is touching. You see here, nothing's touching, nothing's touching. Nothing's touching here, that's not touching. Just make sure everything is within the artwork. This, because we will be cutting around here so we can cut, 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 cut to press. Perfect. Okay, make sure nothing is cutting and always wanna make sure that your logo is transparent. You're gonna go ahead um, and hit ruler and grids. So if you see this checkerboard here, that's how you can tell if your image is transparent. So we're gonna go ahead and hit it, boom. So this image is a transparent image. If it was not, it would you know, have the white box around it or whatever the case may be, but this is how it's going to print on your 22 by 24 artwork. I like to have the white as I work just so I can kind of see what I'm doing because sometimes, um, that checker might confuse me a little bit. All right, uh, like I was saying, the way that you can tell if your image is high quality, high resolution, a vector image before you send it over to us is, this is a little trick that I try. 300, you go down here to your percentage uh, bottom left. Right now I'm at 30%. I wanna kick it to 300%. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit 300. 300 is the percentage I always use to see if you have a high resolution image. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Perfect. Do you see how sharp, 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 sharp these words are? Sharp these lines, how great this image looks at 300. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it down to 30. I'm gonna show you some contrast on what a good image looks like um, versus a bad image. So I went ahead and uh, brought this one up. So I know I have not had this image vectored. So I know that that's not a good image. So I'm gonna go ahead, um, but sometimes you guys feel like, I don't, it looks okay, but is this a good high quality image? This is how you can check. Go down here to your percentage. We're gonna hit 300. Perfect, so we can see that this is not a high quality image. If you can see here, we don't have crisp, sharp lines. We can see here that it's blurry, it's hard to see. Versus, let's go down to this crisp, clean, easy breezy image here. So that is a way that you can tell if your image is a good or not before you send it. If you have a artwork full of non high resolution images, very poor quality, do not send it on your artwork poor quality because it will print that way. If you have poor quality images, please reach out and say, 
I need these images converted into a vector file. I need them high resolutions. We can give that service to you, which is $15 per image to convert this into a high resolution image. If you have other graphic designers that can convert that for you, you can also get that done as well. We're not the only ones that can convert that for you. So those are just other fees that you can waive. Hey, I have someone else to convert my vector. You, so you don't have to pay our $15 fee. Hey, I can create my own artwork. So you don't have to pay the $25 setup fee. So those are just some things that I wanted to touch on as well. So let's go back to our image, to our artwork. Like I said, that is how you can check to see if it's high resolution images. That is how you set up your 22 by 24 artwork. Okay, so let's go through our checklist. We have high resolution images. We have trans, okay, we have high resolution images. Check. Okay, we have transparent background. Check. We have our images, the dimensions, the exact dimensions that we want. We were able to it, um, put an extra one on here to maximize our space. Check, we have everything checked off. So let's go ahead and export. We are ready to send this to Chelly. We are ready to send it to FCD Vinyl and Apparel because it has all of our checks on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to File. We're gonna go to Export. We're gonna go to Export As. Click it. So let's go ahead and name this. I'm gonna go ahead and name this FCD artwork, FCD artwork, um, ready for printing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and export this and then it's gonna show you, hey, it's gonna be in high resolution as you asked for the 300 PPI, and it's gonna be a transparent background. This is a great step that it gives you. Always make sure that the uh, background is transparent. If you print it with the white, if you export it with the right background, it's going to print with the white background. If you export it with the black background, it's going to print with the black background always transparent don't forget perfect so we're gonna go ahead and hit okay so it's gonna export for us it's exported so let's go ahead and go to downloads oh where did it go documents where did it save desktop <laughs> Uh, okay, so it's usually right there. Okay, let me see, where did it download at? Okay. Okay. File, export. There it is, where is it? In desktop? Okay. So let's go ahead and see where our file is. Wow. Okay, so let's go ahead and see where it exported. So we have our FCD artwork ready for printing. There she is. So this is what you would send to me. This is what I would get. So once I get it, I'm gonna show you what I would do. So I would go ahead and go to File, Place, FCD Artwork, I would save it, and I would open it here in Adobe so I can take a look at it. So this is it, this is how it would come to me. It would come all together as one piece and it would definitely fit on my 22 by 24 artwork because that's how you set it up. See how it is one piece? I am not able to see the dimensions, just the dimensions of the one piece. I am not able to move specific ones. The only thing I'm able to do is look at the quality of your image. That's it. So it has to come to me 100% ready. All I can do is look at the quality of your image and I'm definitely gonna do that. That's all I can do. So that's why it's important to send it to me already correct 
already measured, already vectored, already um, sized and everything. So we will see you guys next time. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye.